All right, time to play some receiver. Uh, you might have thought I was done. Well, I'm pretty much done. I mean, I beat the game already. But uh, like I said, I was going to go around and uh, show off some of the uh, the shooting range that I kind of teased earlier. But, I mean, if you don't have the game, then, you know, you can probably watch this. But So, uh, you know, uh, I forgot what I was about to say. Uh, all right, so how to get to the shooting range? Well, you have to turn on debug mode, which is Control F12. This little menu pops up uh, on the top here, and you get a lot of settings, obviously. But uh, let me just turn on some of these. Maybe God mode. Perfectly stable hands. We're gonna we're gonna shoot off some guns without any wobbly hands here. And um, yeah, okay. So shooting range is right here. It used to be in the debug menu. You'd be able to uh, go and like load a level, but they changed that here. And of course, is the uh, custom campaign or the uh, not custom the the standard uh, campaign. It's five levels there. I don't know if they're going to do any modding tools for this, but it'd be really cool since they have a really full featured uh, debug mode. So that'd be really nice if, you know, there were some, you know, modding tools and stuff. But I mean, you know, the developers probably have uh, worked a lot on this game, so they're probably tired of working on it now. But uh, it'd be really cool, right? You could load up a new map, which is what we're going to do. Load up the shooting range. And I showed this off before, but uh, this is a pretty cool spot, especially to uh, practice with the guns, since I've unlocked all of them. They're here on the table. Well, they're here originally, but I didn't want to spoil any of them. They got the Breda there. Okay, that's just highlighting the magazine. Breda, you got the uh, 1911. You get the uh, pocket uh, detective pistol. I forgot what it's called. Uh, what was it? Let me go to help here. Do, 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 detective special? Yeah, the detective special. It's Colt. Uh, this is the uh, Smith & Wesson Model 10. Got the uh, Colt Single Action Army, Desert Eagle. You've got the Glock. A Glock um, 17? Is it the 17? Yeah, 17. And then you've got the High Point, everyone's uh, meme gun. And then the uh, P226. Right? Yeah, the P226. The Sig Sauer. And you got boxes of ammo here. And of course, if you want to test out your... Um, your reaction times and reaction speeds and... Stuff like that, you've got little uh, pop-up targets here. And of course, you've got your standard shooting range, which is a pretty cool shooting range. Honestly, a, a little bare bones in the, the visual department, but uh, it's very useful. Especially the targets. Let me uh, get one up here real close. And let's pick out a weapon. Let's go with, uh, let's go with a Beretta. Get that Beretta out there. Let's uh, put this uh, there and bring ourselves a magazine. Oops. Let's bring three magazines. And let's get, uh, this is 9mm, so we'll get some 9mm. Oh, you know what? Again, with the debug mode, which is pretty cool, you can uh, change some stats here. Let's uh, make our uh, player aim really good. And um, I find that the speed is fine, but if you want to be like John Wick, like really fast, and you turn it up, I'll show you in a minute what I mean. Then your armor, you don't really need it. But ammo... So now you can carry more ammo. You've got the max inventory. And, uh, I don't know, I'll turn up stealth. Let's turn up armor as well. So basically what I mean by that, uh, by this player stat right here, speed, is that now you bring your gun out really fast. You see how fast that is? Now if you turn down the speed to, uh, uh, the player speed down all the way to, like, let's see, zero. The player's, like, really lethargic, you know? See how that, that, that gun just like slowly gets into position, but you turn the player speed up all the way, and then suddenly you're John Wick, you know? Reloads are faster. And again, I turned off the uh, handshake, which is uh, 
Pretty cool. You know what? Maybe I should turn on infinite ammo. Ooh, center of mass. Whoops. Wait a minute. Oh, this is, yeah, this is a problem. If you turn on infinite ammo, the stuff kind of breaks. That's, that's kind of the thing with the dev commands. The game might break. That's kind of weird. Huh. Yeah, we still have ammo in there. Yeah, so I think I broke the game. There we go. Now we're back. We're back. Okay. Let's uh, get rid of this magazine here. Let me turn on the uh, infinite ammo again. This should work. Uh, inspect the chamber. That's just a failure. You see what I mean with the speed? Like how your character is just moving faster? Yeah, that's this is why I call it John Wick mode. <laughs> but uh, let's uh, let's move this out here. A nice little camera to uh, view uh, different spots. Get closer on the center there, because we're going to aim for... Whoops, we got ourselves a stovepipe. Just, uh... oh yeah, we can, uh, I can, uh, I can show you guys, like, all the, uh... The failure states and stuff. So, basically, what I like about this mode, this, uh, this, uh, dev... Dev, uh, oh God, what's it called? De the the uh, dev mode <laughs> is that you can trigger uh, failures. So if you want your gun to stovepipe on every round, stovepipe, you can practice your uh, It's kind of hilarious how you get a stovepipe on every round. But yeah, so you can you can simulate, uh, you can force the failures, sorry. So my favorite one is double feed, because that, that's actually like, it takes a lot of uh, actions to, to correct it. Which uh, you don't see that much in the game, I don't, I don't think. Maybe, maybe you've seen it in one of my videos, I don't know. But basically a double feed, uh, double feed is when you fire and... Uh, the ejector doesn't grab the empty shell casing properly, so the slide moves back. There's this empty shell casing in in the barrel there, and uh, since the slide has moved back, it moves forward, pushes, tries to push a new case, a new round into the barrel, and then you get this. So the way to fix this is uh, is to pull the slide back, hold T to lock the slide. Use the slide lock, or the uh, slide stop lever, and then you remove the magazine. It'll drop that one ma that one bullet, so you'll take that with you. You release the slide, and then you rack it to empty that empty uh, to uh, get rid of that empty shell case, and then just do everything. Back the slide. So it's a, it's a very involved process. So R T E R R R Z R ready to go. So yeah. And you can just do that like you can have it do it just once. That's what that that option is right there. So if you want to let's say oops, uh R T E R R Z Z E Oop, Z, <laughs> you got a little confused there. So th this is a, uh, I think it's going to do it one more time. All right, so R, T, E, R, R, Z, R. Oh, 
Oops, I got a malfunction there. That's weird. Okay. So yeah, you know, you can play around with the uh, failures, which is pretty nice. Uh, failure to feed. Basically, it just doesn't, uh, like the, ma the, the, the rounds of the magazine isn't seated properly. That's when you do the tap rack bang. So let's do failure to feed. Oh, failure to feed. Check it. Rechamber. But yeah, that one's a pretty simple uh, failure to uh, to fix. Out of battery is a pretty interesting one that I don't really, I didn't really see that much with some of the other guns. I know the high point had it, but basically, uh, basically it's like you know the slide didn't go back all the way to position, right? So I think you press F or T. It was T to push the slide forward. See, your slide is not all the way forward. That's out of battery. So you just press T to uh, put it back. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, <laughs> that didn't uh, work properly. There we go. That's a, that's a pretty interesting... Failure. Wait, wait, hold on. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Alright, so yeah, that's failure to feed. Let's see, uh... Wrongly seated mag. out the uh I got the camera there. Now I haven't really gotten this to uh work that well. The wrongly seated mag failure. Oh that might have been it. But uh yeah it's there. Maybe uh, it's at a different gun. I'm not so sure but yeah you can turn on the stuff there. Destroy all lights. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Oh yeah, you can... If you want to cheat, like, you know, unlock all the guns within your save. There you go. Uh, Spawn some... Oh, can we spawn some drones in here? Hold on. I want to try that. No drones? Where are the drones at? Got any drones? I don't know how you spawn drones here. Maybe during the game itself. I don't think... I don't think you can spawn one in here. Alright, let's see what else is there. <clears throat> Balloons, items. Uh... Oh yeah, there's a debug gun, but it's basically just like a crosshair. and It's just a test out thing, so don't worry about that. Uh, you can control drones, which is... Um... Pretty interesting. I want to try that in an actual level, but uh, let's see. I tried x-ray items. I didn't really see any difference. Invisible, that's, you know, there's no clip. You can go through walls. Invisible. Disable events, enemies. And enable inspect mode. That's for developers to check out stuff. That's not for us. You can simulate low frame rate. Which is uh, pretty interesting. I don't know how uh, OBS is going to handle this, but I'm going to set this up to uh, say 24 frames per second for that cinematic kind of feel. Might be a little choppy for you guys, but uh, and you can go down all the way to five, which is. It's terrible. It's just terrible. This is this is the stuff nightmares are made of. If you're a PC gamer and you see this happen in your game, you're playing. Yeah, this is the worst right here. This is like, oh my goodness. This gives you like a bad feeling in your stomach. Like, 
I don't know, maybe my uh, hardware is failing or something like that. But yeah, this is five frames per second right here. This is this is a true slideshow. Oh man, just look at that. That's terrible. Can't even shoot properly. You know, the gun is just like everywhere. All right, I'm not going to do that yet. I need to turn the... Uh, oh, even in the menus. Let's go back to... Go back to 60. And, uh... I think... That's about all the interesting ones that I found. You can change some stuff here if you want. But, uh... Yeah. And a media mode. So you can have like a spectator camera, which is uh, pretty cool. Hide the UI. Oops. Uh, hide equipment. There we go. Enable spectator camera. What does this do? Whoa. Okay. I can move my uh, my uh, character in a cinematic style. You know. Oops, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Alright, whatever. Um, but yeah. So if you want to do some, uh, f you know, fan trailers or something. Hey. Huh. My bullet casing's still there. If you want to do some fan trailers or something, yeah, you can do this. Tur turn off the UI. That'd make the game a lot more harder. <laughs> but, uh, okay, yeah. All right, let's turn that off. And, uh, yeah. All right, let me uh, change weapons here. So, if I remember correctly, without looking at the instructions. E to get rid of the magazine. E to drop it. E to drop the gun. Uh, let's see, let's load, uh, let's get the, uh, let's get the high point. Play around with that. Now let's grab a magazine, and let's stick this inside. Let's choose a fresh target here. Oops. Three. Four. Yeah, that'd be... Oh, went too far. I mean to do that. Okay, so let's check this out. The high point, everyone knows about its uh, unique, <laughs> I'll say unique looks. Um, it does not have a safety. I think it does have a safety. It does. It does not have a slide stop lever, if I remember correctly. So, uh... Okay, a little failure to uh, feed there. Okay. Oh, this is uh, out of battery. Sorry. Phase to uh, recognize what your failures are. It's a good way, I mean, this is a good way to practice, too, you know, like, the actual game. I didn't do it because this would be kind of cheating, but, uh, oops, this is... Oh, my goodness. You know what, I need to tap. Tap the mag, tap the mag. Gotta tap the mag. Oops. Failure to eject. Alright, well, that's enough of the high point. Let's get the, uh, let's play with the Desert Eagle here. Alright, let me remove the magazine, drop the magazine, drop the gun. Uh, let's see. Desert Eagle. Mag. Okay. Whoops, that's not what I want. Safety is off. 
Okay. Oh man, I'm terrible at this one. Oh my goodness. There we go. 29 seconds. Alright, I think the middle one is, uh... I'm trying to remember, is the middle one... I think the middle one are these, uh, larger plates. And this one is the smaller plates right here, so we're gonna go with this. Um, oh, oh. Ah, failure. I think, uh... We might need a... Something a little less insane. So let's switch over to the. Hmm, should I take the, uh, the Sig or the Beretta? Uh, the uh, 1911. I'm gonna go with the Sig. All right, and then uh, insert the magazine. All right, let's uh, let's see how I can do this with um the mouse. I feel like I, I I feel like it's better with a VR controller, but Okay, five point one. Four point six eight. Let's go faster. Four point five eight. Oh, we're getting there, we're getting there. Let's, uh... Oh, no! Failure. Ah, uh, that was... That was lame. We'll do that again. Four point five nine. That was four point five eight, right? Last time? Alright. One point five eight again. Oh man, these failures. Six point two nine. Four point one nine. There we go. We're getting a little better. Oh. All right, one more time. Ah oh, man, you know what? We'll restart. Four point two six, uh, four point one nine. I think that's the best one I can do for today. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude! That would have been good. I was doing. I was doing. I was doing okay there. Restart. Three point eight one. Oh, okay, okay. It's getting better. We're getting better. Ah, <laughs> oh. hate that. Three point eight one. Three point nine four. Ah, uh, well, we'll try that again one more time. Oh, 4.21. Again, restart. Three point six one. There we go, we hit it. <laughs> Seven point four four. So three point six one, right? Three point eight three. Okay, one more time. Three point seven one. Three point six one is my best time. But uh, yeah, so you get the you know the little plates here. If you want to shoot out uh, some plates, and uh, let's go with the the Glock. 
Let's empty this. Oop. Let's drop these guns. Drop them. Drop them. The Glock here. We got the uh, magazine. The magazine in there and uh, V, right? For full auto. Okay. This is going to be terrible. <laughs> but uh, if you don't like flashing... Uh, well, there's, there's a lot more flashing lights now because this is going to be full auto, but, uh, yeah, if you're, if you're not used to that, if you have any sensitivity to that kind of stuff, you know, you should look away because this is going to be with infinite ammo. This is going to be a long, long bit right here. So, oops, stoke pipe. Oh no, <laughs> I removed the magazine out of my... Oops, nope, I didn't want to do that. There we go. Z, okay. Oh no, it bugged out again, huh? No. There we go. I think there might be something... Oh, hold on. Just wait a minute. Hmm. Let me see if this will work to get rid of the failures. Nope. Okay. It's so weird how, like, the recoil... I mean... Uh, well, uh, there is a stylistic reason why it's, uh, like this. Oh, we got a double feed. R, T. Check the mag. R to clear the, the, uh, chamber. Insert. Tap. Rack. You're ready to bang. Oh, that didn't work out too well. <laughs> All right, let's go semi semi auto. Whoops, we got a stovepipe. Oh man, another double feed, huh? Okay, uh, E, R, clear the slide. Another double feed. Wow. Okay. Okay, rack the slide. Rack it again. Let's go for headshots. I'm going to go for that X. All right, let me see if I can get that X here. Ah, oh, man, it was just, just above. This was my other shot right here. That was just, just a little, just a hair high. I need a clearer target. Oh, can I? Oh, I can. All right. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Nope, I didn't mean to do that either. All right, let's see if I can get that X. Ah, uh, just a little bit high. A little low. Just right, there we go. Little Goldilocks right there. <laughs> it's a little too hot, a little too cold. Oh, right in dead center. 
That's pretty cool. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so uh, just drop this off. And uh, we can go with... Did I... Uh, huh. Did I lose my... Uh, oh, I. it's down there for some reason. That's weird. Okay, there we go. We got the uh, Model 10, Smith & Wesson. Uh, I don't really... I don't think I need to reload this. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I don't know about the failure states for revolvers. Uh, not that much from what I've seen. Okay. Was it this one? Or was it this one? This one. Okay. You can spin the, uh, spin the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the cylinder. Although my mouse wheel doesn't work, so kind of terrible. I can't spin it as fast as I want. There we go. Now we can spin it. But, uh, yeah, those are the, uh, ooh, look at all those bullets, uh, shell casings. Uh, all right, let me drop this, uh, drop that. The, uh, detective special. This is, I think, 38, right? 38 special. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Um, well, no, no. I was thinking of something else. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm basically holding down the... Uh, I'm holding down the mouse button, and then I'm pressing F to just pull the hammer back. And it's kind of like, uh, sort of like I'm fan firing the... Uh, or I'm fanning the hammer. Which I want to do with the uh, single action army. I I'm going to try that. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. All right, one more, I think, weapon. Well, I don't know. Well, we didn't do the 1911 yet, but uh, let's just uh, get the single action army in here. Half cock, but uh, I don't have any bullets. That's okay. You know what? I should just uh, restart. Oh, that is uh, one warning. Uh, if you're going to do this, if you go into the uh, shooting range level, you might find that you can't uh, get out of it. So what you need to do is go to uh, custom campaign and then do this. Go back to the, uh, you know, whatever rank you were on. Because once you're in the shooting range, every time you restart, you're going to spawn in the shooting range. So just to keep that in mind for people out there are going to try this out. Uh, do I have infinite ammo on? That's not going to work with this. All right, we need 45 long colt. And I need to change my stuff here. Go to player, player stats. Turn on aim, speed, armor, ammo, stealth. So now we should be fast, like revolver ocelot fast. And then, okay. Okay, so I want to try fan firing this. So if I, right now I've got the trigger 
or sorry, trigger. I've got the uh, mouse button held down for the trigger and uh, I want to pull. I'm going to press F a lot of times to see if I can fan fire this thing. I mean, uh, we've already seen what the uh, Colt uh, Detective Special can do, but, you know, it's probably going to work here, so. All right, pretty cool. Half cock. Uh, v. V to... I wish my mouse wheel worked on my uh, mouse, because... It'd be really nice if I could spin the, the uh, cylinder faster. Now, you know what I actually wanted to try out? I want to see if, like, uh, if you drop the revolver, will it, uh, will it go off accidentally? Oh, no, you can't. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, there's a firing pin in that hammer, and if you hit the uh, hammer hard enough, it'll hit the, uh, that's why it'll hit the primer and, you know, whatever. You don't want that to happen, so always keep one chamber empty, basically. Oops, I dropped it again. So, there we go. Open. There we go. Okay. A very, a very stellar, um, uh, like, uh, whatchamacallit, simulation of a uh, single action army in this game. Not, not as, uh, immersive or not as uh, intricate as uh, H3 VRs, but it's still pretty good. I mean, this is not a VR game, so, you know, you got that. But it is pretty, pretty accurate, pretty dead on. I used to, um, I've shot one of these before, because, I mean, come on, you live in Texas, you know. That's where I used to live. It's kind of like, you know, it's sort of like cowboys, you know, so... You knew a lot of people that had had one of these, either either like an original, or like one of the more like recent Ruger uh, copies. Oh, there we go. But yeah, so it's like half cock. But it's pretty accurate, you know? That's what I like about this game. Oh, I'm running out of ammo here, so... Like... Bam. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I didn't quite get that in place. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Nope, sorry, it would have been four, right? So, wait, hold on. Half cock. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of challenging. There we go. To uh, count all this stuff mentally. But, uh, there we go. Gotta practice that. All right. Uh, I mean, that is pretty much it. I, I do... 
I should I should use the uh, 1911 though. That's the only gun I haven't used yet. But uh, you know, you get your your standard 1911. But yeah, I mean, uh, let me pick up the extra magazines here. Hold on. But yeah, this is the uh, dev uh, the developer mode for this uh, game. And um, oh, safety is. It's off, okay. Yeah, I just needed a chamber around. But yeah, so this is the dev mode, and um, I don't know if there's any mods coming. I know that there were a few people out there who were um, pretty uh, inventive and managed to get mods working in the original receiver, so... I mean, if they could do that here, then, you know, that'd be really cool. I want to see some mods uh, with some new weapons and stuff. Uh, I think they managed to get shotguns working and maybe a bolt action rifle in the original receiver, which was pretty cool. Those, uh, those mods, I mean, but yeah, if someone, if someone, you know, more smarter than me can, can, uh, put mods in this game, you know, that'd be, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Did I get those? Yeah, nine eight seven. Let's go down here. Nine eight. Oh, I'm out. E one Z R or T T for uh. You can use T to uh, release the slide, the slide stop lever. I use R though because I like racking the slide. <laughs> That old ho that old Hollywood kind of action, right? It just looks cooler, but it's more efficient to just use the uh, the slide stop, right? Got the magazine out, put the magazine in, and then you uh, press T. There we go. Wait a minute. And we are out. This, oop, put that one there. Make sure you clear the weapon. And then uh, put the safety on. And just drop it on the ground. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much the shooting range. Uh, actually, I want to check something out. Did they remove it? I think they did. They got rid of some of the other stuff here. I think there might have been a level with, like, a gunship, but it wasn't working. I'm not so sure. They have achievements, which is kind of weird. There's no achievements in this, uh, on the Steam version here. But, uh, I think that's about it for today. I mean, there's, uh, I mean, all I can probably do right now is just keep shooting guns, but, you know, I mean, that's, that would just, uh, that would just kind of, kind of be boring for like 50 minutes because we're getting there. So, hey, yeah, like I said, that's about it for today and uh, I'll see you guys next time.